Patient in supine lying position, arm extended beside him. Stand beside the patient facing his trunk. Your proximal hand is fixating the patient's wrist. Your distant hand is under the elbow, cupping it so your arms are crossing each other. Move the arm in flexion direction in full range of motion, which is about 180 degrees. The hand under the elbow should rotate so the movement is smooth. And this is what you should see when you applying the passive range of motion for shoulder flexion from supine position. You can also apply passive range of motion for the shoulder flexion from side lying position. Stand behind the patient, your proximal hand is fixating the scapula, support the patient forearm on your forearm. Then move the arm in flexion direction. You should know variety of positions for every passive range of motion technique and choose the suitable one for your patient. And this is what you should see when you applying passive range of motion for shoulder flexion from sideline position.